Well, good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Mobile Weather Office coming to you from the coast of Maine, but keeping an eye on everything going on uh, back home. Uh, a lot to get to this morning because we have the fires to deal with, air quality to deal with, as well as heat. And today is likely going to be a hotter day than what we saw yesterday. Downtown Sacramento was around 106. Today might be closer to the 110, 111 range, and we could be in that range again into the weekend. Let me start with uh, the, the, the biggest fire that is going on. This is the Thompson fire burning near Oroville, actually into Oroville. And this is the latest from the Alert Wildfire as I'm recording this around uh, oh, between 7.30 and 8 o'clock this morning. And as you can see, big plume of smoke coming out here. Now, if you look at the satellite image this morning, there is a, still a fair amount of fire activity here. Here's the fire burning near Oroville, and then you can see some of the smoke uh, a loft going down through the Bay Area and down past uh, Half Moon Bay and almost down to Santa Cruz. Uh, a lot of this is elevated. In other words, it's not smoke down on the ground, but it's certainly making the sky hazy in many Bay Area areas. But that fire is uh, last burned, uh, I should say last reported, at 3,000 acres. And what you're looking at here, this is from Watch Duty, by the way, a great app to have for fires. So this red area here is the perimeter of the fire, again at about 3,000 acres. The red areas here are evacuation orders and the, um, the yellow areas are, highlight are highlighted are evacuation warnings. You can also perhaps see the wind. Now this is the wind this morning. It's a light northeasterly wind coming off Lake Oroville and going down this way. And so that's why the smoke that I showed you here on the alert wildfire camera, that's blowing in this direction as we look toward the fire. Let's go back to watch duty though, because we are gonna see a bit more in the way of wind again during the day today. And the wind will switch from this direction to this direction. So once again, it's gonna be areas near the lake and in the areas south of where the fire is currently that will be most likely vulnerable to um, having a further spread or further spotting of the fire. So that's one of the things we have to keep an eye on today. Now with all the smoke coming up, there is a bit of uh, air quality concern. Now if you look at the, this is from Purple Air by the way. Um, some people have asked me about air quality and Purple Air, this, this uh, does a pretty good job. And you can see near Oroville, the, the particular matter is off the charts. You know, two, three hundred, seven hundred at that location. And this morning, the worst of the air quality is basically down the Highway 65 corridor and into southwest Placer County. So in Roseville and Folsom and Granite Bay, that's where you still have some of the smoke. Good air quality around Sacramento itself. And then into the Bay Area, there are also some areas of some elevated uh, particulate matter here as well. But again, most of the smoke here is, uh, is elevated. Look for that to be changing and shifting during the day. So if you're in, let's say if you're in Roseville or Rockland and it's smoky this morning, that should be lifting out as we get a change in wind direction this afternoon. It will mix things up a little bit more. All right, let's talk a little bit about uh, about the wind that we are expecting during the day today because that plays a role as well as the low humidity that we have in the high temperatures. This is the wind picking up again this afternoon. You can see that north wind coming down the west side of the valley. Here's where Oroville is, so we'll once again have uh, some winds out of the northwest there. The wind's a lot less gusty in parts of the San Joaquin Valley. So that's this morning, or I should say early this afternoon. Let's go ahead to about five o'clock this afternoon. This is actually eight o'clock this afternoon. And by eight o'clock this afternoon, that northwest wind decreases. And we actually get a bit of an onshore breeze. But the problem is there's no marine layer. Now let's go back to the satellite, because what you'll notice is there's no marine layer here. There is some marine layer once you go uh, well south of Big Sur, but from um, Monterey up to the north, there's no marine layer. So even if we do get this onshore breeze this afternoon, it won't be a cooling breeze, but at least it should help to uh, alleviate a lot of the smoke and decrease the fire danger. Let's get into the day on Thursday. So for the 4th of July, this is five o'clock, 4th of July. Once again, an onshore breeze, but without a marine layer, we're still gonna see temperatures get very warm. But today, probably in that, uh, using Sacramento for, uh, just for a gauge, we should see a temperature this afternoon in the 110, 111 range. On Thursday, a little bit less hot, 106, 107, something like that. But for anything going on for the 4th of July, you know, morning parades are still gonna be quite warm. Um, afternoon activities are going to be hot. 
even though we'll see this bit of an onshore breeze during the day on Thursday in the afternoon, it really won't prevent temperatures from getting hot and we'll probably be seeing temperatures around 100 degrees between uh, at least 2 o'clock in the afternoon and maybe as much as 7.30 in the evening. So a long period with temperatures at or above 100 degrees again. And as we head into Thursday night and into early Friday, this is Friday afternoon, once again we have an onshore breeze, but without anything in the way of marine layer to help us out, uh, the temperatures are still going to be warm. Friday's temperatures will likely be in that 105 110 range. So let's take a look at the big picture and find out when things might change. Let me shift this back to the beginning. I was looking at this earlier, so I was getting ahead of myself. All right, so we still have the big high that is still moving in, and we have that north flow around it, which is contributing to the higher fire danger as well as the uh, decreasing marine layer. And that's today, and as we go through the day today and tomorrow, you can see that high begins to shift inland, but this means light winds and just hot temperatures with daytime highs in the valley up around that 110 range. Things will begin to shift a little bit during the day on Sunday, Monday. This is Monday. This is actually Sunday night. Just a little uh, little vort going by, kind of putting a dent in the high and helping to squash it slightly. And we'll see, have to see how much of an influence this is going to have, whether or not we're going to get the marine layer rebuilding. But at least it looks as though by the time we get into early next week, our temperatures will be lower. But from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll still be in that 108, 110 range. By early next week, we could see temperatures come down a little bit. But whether or not this is going to be enough to get temperatures back down into the 95 range, we don't know. This model, in terms of its numerical output, is still putting out temperatures over 105. And if you have an app that shows a 10-day forecast, it's probably showing nothing but 100s. But if this pattern holds, by the middle part of next week, we may be seeing temperatures back into the 90s, but there's certainly no guarantee of that. So, like I said, a lot to get through today. Still another very active fire day. We saw fires break out yesterday with a continuing north wind developing again today, especially on the west side of the valley. Another high fire danger day today. Red flag warning in effect. Be really careful around areas of dry grass. Make sure you don't start a fire because it can turn into a 3,000 acre fire that's causing damage like we're seeing in the Oroville area right now. So be very careful with that. And also temperatures yesterday, Sacramento was at 100 degrees as early as one o'clock in the afternoon. We'll do that today. We may even be 100 degrees as early as noontime today and it still might be 100 degrees at eight o'clock tonight. So a very hot afternoon. Take it easy this afternoon. And for the 4th of July, while temperatures may be down a little bit, it's still gonna be another very hot day. So take it easy out there today. Uh, I'll continue to keep you updated, even though I'm a few thousand miles away. But uh, yeah, make the best of it in the heat today. I'll talk with you later.